Kiana, Steve, good morning. They are indeed doing uh, good work. Uh, I, I wanted to start here on the street in this neighborhood um, and, and show you that every house in this neighborhood, which by the way is removed about half a mile from uh, the, the waterfront, is dealing with the same scenario, cleaning up after storm surge. They're getting help, this particular home here, by the St. Bernard Project, uh, born out of the St. Bernard Parish, of course, in New Orleans. They began their work after Hurricane Katrina, and here's what they're doing. Uh, helping this homeowner, her name is Heidi, her parents, uh, both of them 90 years old, were in this home as the water started to rush in the storm surge. She rescued her two 90-year-old parents from the rising flood water to her home next door. We're gonna pan over, this is Heidi, actually standing right here. And this is a different elevation. You can see how her house is just a little bit higher than this one. That made all the difference in trying to escape some of the flood water. I spoke to her just a moment ago and asked her, what's it like to have to have everything you own out on the curb like this after this experience? Here's a little of what she had to say. I've thrown out pictures of family members from the 1800s. It's quite heartbreaking, but we're alive. <laughs> Um, getting them through the flood water, though, to my home was probably the worst thing I've ever dealt with, more so than the flood itself. Um, just the scary moments of trying to get them to safety. But she is getting help now. And as you can see, uh, they have their work cut out for them here, Steve and Kiana. Uh, they have to basically get everything that the floor touched out of the way. Uh, because it could be molding, it can be destroyed at this point. Uh, now they have to come through, take up all of the floors inside the home, as well as the drywall up to three or four feet because that drywall has soaked up flood water as well. It all has to come out uh, because of the hazards there. So this is a scenario, again, that's being repeated all down the street as hundreds of homeowners here in Naples, far away from Fort Myers, 30 minutes down the road, are dealing with the st incredible storm surge uh, from Ian. Back to you. Yeah, Will, when you talk about storm surge, once the wind leaves, that water's stagnant in an environment like Florida, warm and humid, mold can grow, and that's why you got to tear it all out. Well, oh, real yeah. quickly, I see the fans running behind you. Do they have power in that neighborhood? They do. Power is back. Water is back, um, and that's a little bit of a help. But in many cases, if you have a house that is in this situation, you can't stay in it. You can't live in it. So even though they do have power and water back, uh, it doesn't do much good other than to help them see the damage that they're facing. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.